Hey, what's up? My name is Iro. So a few days ago, this person commented on my Twixter tutorial about converting 30 FPS footage into 60 FPS. And he basically said, what if I convert my 30 FPS video to 60 FPS? Does Twixter do a decent job on it? Okay, so the best way to convert 30 FPS to 60 FPS is to use a built-in feature called frame blending in After Effects. And it's actually actually so good you won't even need Twixter at all. So here's some examples of using the frame blending feature. All these shots were recorded on 25 F FPS. As you can probably see, it actually does a great job. Here you can see the difference between using only the frame blending feature versus fr using frame blending and Twixter. And as you see, there's little to no difference between the two. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to use it. So once you're in After Effects, and you've brought your footage here to the project section, you have to, uh, then just drag it on the new com composition button. It'll make it so it's the same resolution and all this. Okay, now you have it here. Now it's 25 FPS, as you see it's recorded on, on in 25 FPS. So the first thing you'll have to do is uh, right click here to um, go to composition settings, then find the frame rate section and change it to whatever you like. I like 59.94 because it's, it's the usual. So like this, then press OK. So now your composition is 60 FPS, but your footage is 25 FPS. So it's going to look basically the same. OK, after this, you will have to go here to these little buttons. This one is frame blending, as you see. So it creates frames between frames, so there's more frames. Okay, you have to press once and once again, so it'll bring up this, this graphic. Then you'll have to enable frame blending for, for the composition here. Press once there, twice here, once here. Now you're basically done. So if you preview the footage, it'll look just like it was sh shot in 60 FPS. Yeah, it's that easy. And the results are amazing. Okay, that was the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you if you'd like to see more of these tutorials and you, there's even a submission box in the description where you can submit tutorial ideas that I should make. Okay, see ya.